welcome back to a new vlog i just got back from a walk and now i am just sitting here doing some makeup or putting some makeup on because i am so tired today and i always feel like putting makeup on kind of helps when i feel like i don't want to do anything i'm like okay let's just put some makeup on and try to be productive today I went out with a couple of friends this weekend and I think that's why I'm just exhausted because I am like 100% an introverted extrovert. I love being by myself. You guys probably already know that. But I also love spending time with friends. But every time I spend time with friends afterwards, I feel like my battery is just like dead and I am just so tired for the next couple of days after I spent some time with friends or with people in general. But I'm putting some makeup on and I'm gonna go to the grocery store because we also need to get some groceries. So hopefully I can still have a productive day today. So this is today's outfit. I am, of course, wearing black Lulu leggings. Surprise, surprise. Have you even seen me not wearing black leggings? I don't think so. And then I'm just wearing this white sweater from Arket. I wore this in my last vlog too, but this is just the most comfortable sweater ever. I absolutely love it. And I just wanna be comfortable going to the grocery store. So I just got back from the grocery store, so let's do a little grocery haul. It looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. I just got the usual. So of course I got some oat milk. This is again my favorite milk. I always get two of each because we run out very fast. And then here we just have some salmon, some vegan ground beef. Back here I have some cork. I'm not sure if that's a thing in the US, but it's kind of like Greek yogurt, but it's a little healthier. And then of course a bunch of fruits and veggies. So we we have some grapefruits, lemon, banana, celery back here, avocado, green apples, cucumber. I also got some green grapes today. Got some bell pepper and mushrooms. And then this is, what is this called in the US? It's cilantro. We say coriander here in Sweden, but some cilantro. And then back here, we just have some frozen berries, chickpeas, pasta, of course, and yeah, basically just what I always get. So yeah, now I'm gonna fill up the empty fridge. I am so excited to have food again because this is nothing. I can't make anything out of this. So very happy to have food in the fridge again. about to leave to meet up with Mike because we're going to a Pilates class. It's not like the real Pilates class with the machines and everything. I think it's just on a yoga mat, but I'm not sure because I've never tried this class before, but I really wanted to try it out. And I basically made Mike go with me because I didn't want to go by myself. And he was kind enough to go with me. So yeah, I'm going to meet up with him and hopefully it's a fun class.
Good morning. I just made myself a matcha and now I am, let me just put the camera down. Okay, so I am currently waiting for a delivery. It's only, I think like 8.15 or maybe 8.20, I'm not sure. But I'm waiting for a delivery today and they said they would be here between eight to four. And I'm like, so what time are you guys coming? Am I just supposed to sit here and wait the entire day? Like they could be here in two minutes. They could also be here in what, like six hours. But I'm waiting for a, we ordered a headboard for the bedroom and I'm very excited about it because I honestly hate our bedroom so much. It's super tiny, first of all, like there's nothing but a bed in there but what I hate the most about the bedroom is the wall color and it's a blue color you guys have probably seen it in another video but it's a blue color and like sometimes I get comments saying that oh I love the wall color in the bedroom but I absolutely hate it I wish it was white but we did order a headboard so hopefully that will be here soon I also ordered new like pillows and a duvet thing and duvet covers so hopefully we can make some magic in there or at least make it look a little bit better than it does right now because I really don't like the bedroom right now. <laughs> so while I wait for them, let me show you what the bedroom looks like in case you haven't seen it. But this is pretty much our bedroom. It is super tiny, like I said, and this is the ugly color that I hate. I can't stand it. I wish it was white or like beige or just like a neutral color. But anyways, so this is pretty much it. It's just a bed and we have two or four ugly pillows. And yeah, so I did order because we right now have two duvets. Is it called a V? I think so. I just hate how it looks when you make the bed because it just it doesn't look good. And then our pillows, like they're just random. Like I don't even know. I hate everything in here. So hopefully it will help with like the new covers and everything. This is also the new Deve and Deve covers and everything I purchased. The only thing that bothers me so much, I didn't see this yesterday because we washed it yesterday and then Mike helped me put this on because I could not do that by myself but I don't know if you can tell but this color because I got these from H&M home and then I got this from Ikea I'm not sure if it's like showing on camera but this color is more of a white creamish color and this is more just true white and it really bothers me but hopefully it won't bother me too much when I make the bed but I'm just a little bit annoyed and I obviously can't return it now because I already washed it and everything but hopefully it won't bother me too much It's finally here and oh my gosh, I am completely out of breath because it did not fit in the elevator. So I had to carry this like five floors and I'm exhausted, but I'm so excited. So let's open it up. Okay, so this is the color. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be, but I think it will still look nice. This is more of a light beige color. I think I was expecting more of a, a true beige, but I think it will still look nice. So let's remove the plastic. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the headboard and I don't know if I like it or not. The main thing that bothers me is the color, but maybe it's the wall color that ruins it for me. I don't know, but maybe I will like it better when I redo the bedding and everything. So let me do that and hope for the best. <laughs> So this color right here is kind of what I was hoping for. Obviously you can see a huge difference. That one is more just lighter and more pink. And this one is what I call like a true beige color. But yeah, let's do the bedding and then hopefully it will look a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this is how it turned out and I really like the bedding and everything, but I just don't know what I feel about this headboard. The color just bothers me so much. I wish it was this color, but as you can tell, it's more of a pink color. So I don't know, should I just return it? Ugh, like returning it is just so annoying because I think they charge $80 to return it and then I would obviously have to like put it back in the package and everything and I just don't know if I want to do that. Ugh, it's just it's just a hassle. I just wish it was the correct color But we also have two frames that we used to have in LA above the bed And I think I want to put them back up there. So maybe I will like it a little bit better I don't know. Please help. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it like this or should I? Return it, Ugh. but let me get the frames and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here are the frames and I really like how it looks. So I'm definitely going to put them on the wall, but I'm gonna wait for Mike to get home so he can do that because I don't wanna do that by myself. But the frames look great above the bed, but it's just the headboard. I don't know, <sighs> I don't know what I think about it. I also know there's covers you can buy and just like put it on here with different colors. Maybe I should try that, Ugh, but then I have to buy a cover for it. I don't know, please let me know. Should I keep it or should I return it? So I just got another package. It's not for the bedroom, but it is shoes. So let's open it. So I ordered two because like, I'm unsure because I ordered these before. They're from Nike. And I ordered them before. The size was, they were way too small. So I sized up, but I think one is a men's shoe and then one is women's shoe. But one was on sale and the other one was not. And I'm just a little bit confused. So I ordered both. Yeah, so this is the women's pair. And then this is the men's, I think. I don't know. They're just the Nike, what are they called? Air Max 270, I think. Not sure, but I think so. So let's try them on. So this is the woman size, but they're supposed to be the same size, so I don't know. Okay, so they're a lot better than the first pair I ordered. I really like them. Okay, let's try because the woman's pair was not on sale and then the men's pair was on sale. So I'm like, why is there a difference? I mean, they're literally the same shoe. I'm so confused. Okay, so I actually found a difference. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is the men's shoe and this is the woman's shoe. But the men's shoe is gray and the women's shoe is black. So in here, it's actually gray and then here it's black and then also where it says air, this is gray and on this one it's black. So I think that's like the main difference and I like the woman's shoe better, which is very annoying because this one was the one that's not on sale, but it just feels better for some reason. So I think I'm gonna send back the gray one and keep the black one. So I'm about to head outside to go on a walk because it is really sunny outside and it just feels like a waste to be inside when I can get some vitamin D outside. I'm also going to the gym later today with Mike so I don't really feel like going to the gym now and then going to the gym again later. So yeah, I'm just going to head outside to get some fresh air and some vitamin D. It's the next day and I'm about to head to Ikea because when Mike got back yesterday, when Mike got home, I showed him the headboard and I asked him like, what do you think? And he was like, if you like it, then I like it. But I don't like it. I thought about it and I'm really not happy with the color. It's not the color that I wanted, but I really don't want to go through the hassle of sending it back and then they charge $80 and it's just a whole process I don't want to go through. So I did some research and apparently you can just put a duvet cover on top of it and just like staple it on the back and make it look like it's the real headboard. So I'm going to try that. I found a duvet cover that looks nice that they sell at Ikea. Whoops. I also need to get rid of these, but I didn't want to get rid of them in case I was going to send it back. 
Uh, but I found one at Ikea and it's only like $20. So hopefully it works so I don't have to send it back. If that doesn't work, then I will probably just buy something else, like just fabric or something and put it on there and staple it. I just really don't wanna go through the return process. So hopefully that will work and I don't have to send it back. <laughs> Okay, so I found the one I was looking for, but I forgot that I was supposed to bring a pillow so I could compare the colors, but hopefully this one will work. It looks nice, and I saw someone else get this exact same one, so crossing my fingers that it will look better than the color right now. So I purchased the duvet cover, the Ings Lilia, and I looked at the color compared to pillows and stuff, and it looks pretty similar. So hopefully this will work. I also, I don't know if I will need it, but I did buy this thing just in case. I don't know what it's called in English, but it's a heft pistol in Swedish. And this is basically to like attach it to the back. I don't know if I will need it or not, but I just purchased it just in case. So I have that, and then also just random, I got three glass, <laughs> three glass bottles for my green juice, because I'm gonna make some green juice, and I thought these bottles were perfect, so just got that as well. But let's cross our fingers that this will work and that it will look good so I don't have to return the bed frame. Oh, we also haven't attached the frames yet. I wanted to wait until I decided if I wanted to keep this or not, so. So here we have the final results and I have to say this color is so much better than the other one. I did not like how pink that was but this is exactly what I was looking for and it matches perfectly with the pillows and again we're going to put the frames on the wall but I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm even happier that I don't have to send the bed frame back. So I'm going to change into workout clothes and then go to the gym, but I thought I would end this video here since I'm finally done with the bedroom. Please let me know what you think. I am pretty satisfied. I feel like I made the best out of the situation, but please let me know in the comments. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.